Did you know you can run the ice cap 3K flow pump in reverse mode? Stay tuned as we explain this unique feature. Hello and welcome to another episode of CVTV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to cover how you can utilize the 3K's alternator gyre mode. One of the 3K's most unique features which sets this pump apart from other pumps on the market is its ability to run in reverse. This is like having two pumps in one. Not only can you have your pump create its signature gyre as it runs, but you can actually have the pump switch to reverse mode and then create a gyre in the opposite direction. Running the 3K in alternating gyre mode allows the tank flow to more closely resemble that of nature. This creates an environment of happy fish and healthy growing corals without the need of having multiple power heads all running at the same time. Before we start, we will need a few things. We will need a spare set of propellers and directional cages they are not included with the 3K pump, but can easily be purchased at CoralView.com. The first step in setting up alternating gyre mode is to install the correct propeller and directional cages. By default, the 3K comes with propeller A and a propeller B installed. If you pay close attention to the propellers, you will notice that the blades are angled. When installed, both propeller A and B have the blades facing the same direction. This allows the entire length of the pump to grab large amounts of water and move it forward to create a linear flow and create the iconic gyre flow. By removing one of the propellers from the 3K and replacing it with an additional set, we can now have two propellers with the blades angled in opposite direction. Your gyre will now be running on either two A propellers or two B propellers. Because of the angle of the blades, now half of the gyre will be able to fully grab the water and move it forward and the other half will create turbulence. But when the 3K runs in opposite direction, yes you guessed it, the other propeller will now be able to fully grab water and move it. The propeller on the opposite end of the gyre will now just create turbulence. Now you have a pump that can efficiently cycle water in both directions. You now have two pumps in one. After configuring the propellers, we need to install the directional cages. Make sure that the cages match the propellers you are using. If you are using two A propellers, then you should be installing two A directional cages. If you are using two B propellers, make sure you install two B directional cages. To program the gyre in alternate gyre mode, please check out the IceCap 3K101 where we show you step-by-step -step programming guide of each of the 3K's controllable modes. Once we have configured the pump, it is time to mount it in our aquarium. For the purposes of this video, we will be using a 3K on a 220 gallon peninsula reef tank. The inner part of the tank is 5.5 feet long by 3 feet deep by 20 inches tall. The tank also features a sand bed, many SPS corals, some LPS, and a couple soft corals. There are many locations where the pump can be installed to run alternating gyre mode. You can run the pump horizontally at the top of the tank or run it vertically on the back end of the tank. Before making a final decision as where the pump will be mounted, we need to assess one important part of the reef tank, the sand bed. Having a tank with a sand bed or bare bottom will dictate the directional speed. If you have a sand bed, you will need to test the 3K at different speeds to make sure that you don't end up with a sandstorm. If you have a bare bottom tank, then sky's the limit. When mounting the 3K, pay close attention to the directional cages. Make sure that the intake is rotated away from the aquarium glass or overflow to prevent restricting the intake of water. Here are some answers to frequently asked questions regarding the alternating gyre mode. How do I differentiate between propeller A and propeller B? Each propeller is labeled with an A or B. I'm running my 3K in alternating gyre mode, but it does not move any water when running at 100% reverse. What is going on? Make sure you have installed all propellers and cages of the same letter. Either a set of two A's or a set of two B's is required. 
I am running my pump in alternating gyre mode and it keeps drawing air from the water surface. How do I fix it? First, make sure the pump is fully submerged. If you are running the 3K horizontally, make sure that the water intake is not too close to the water surface when drawing water from the top. If you are running the gyre vertically, make sure that the water intake is not up against the panel but instead facing away from it. I am running the alternate gyre mode and I am having a hard time keeping the sand in place. What now? Reduce the speed of the 3K, change direction of the flow cages, or move it to a different location. Well that's our video for today. If you would like to learn more about the IceCap 3K, including detailed specs and beautiful high quality pictures, head on over to CoreView.com. If you have any other questions or issues with the product, don't hesitate to visit our support portal at CoralView.com forward slash support. Our friendly support reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest product reviews and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash CoralView Aquarium Products.